Hey guys, what I want to talk about today is a uh, common type of sprinkler problem, sprinkler malfunction that happens to just about every sprinkler that you're going to run for any, uh, any length of time, and that's clogging. Clogging happens just because there's bits of dirt and debris in the system that get lodged in the head of the sprinkler and make them so they're not very functional anymore. Uh, and you'll notice in, in your lawn if you have clogging that your sprinkler will just start to dribble water and won't, uh, won't actually pop up and spray anymore. Or if it does pop up, the spray is going to be very limited. It's just going to come out very weakly or it's just going to pop up a certain uh, distance but it'll dribble water after that. It won't actually spray. So don't worry, your sprinkler is most likely not broken. You most likely don't have to uh, replace the whole sprinkler. Uh, it's most likely just that your filter is clogged. And most sprinklers are going to have filters that you're going to have to identify and locate in order to take them out of the sprinkler head and clean them and put them back. I'm going to use this uh, as my example, which I use in, in all the videos, a little two-inch pop-up orbit, to show you how to locate a filter um, and take it out, remove it, clean it, and put it back. Now, most sprinklers are going to have a filter of some type. Uh, they might, might not be in the exact same place. They might not come out in the exact same way. But generally, there's two ways that you can take a, f a filter out of a sprinkler. One as in this case, is to pop up, you have to actually go and pop up the sprinkler head like this and hold it so it doesn't pop back down. Uh, and you have to unscrew the, the brass tip like so. And then your filter's right here. And odds are, this is, what you're, this is where your problem is. There's probably a lot of junk in here, uh, either in here or also in the, in the tip itself. Uh, and you're going to want to clean this out. You're going to want to take it inside, scrub it, spray it down real well, take this inside too, look inside here. There's little areas that probably have a bunch of dirt and grime. You're going to want to brush those out or spray a high pressure amount of water in there and clean the entire system out well. And then you're going to want to, uh, what I recommend doing, um, because if you take this part off and you just let it pop back down, you can't get it back out again. Like that's, it's it's now down in there and you can't get it uh, you can't get it to come back out so sometimes what you can do if you take out the filter and the tip if you get lucky you can come now that this is popped back down into the ground you can come and you can put the filter down in there and and push it seat it all the way down and then you can put your your tip in there and if you get lucky you might be able to catch some threads but not usually so what you'll ultimately probably have to do uh, is take off this entire head otherwise you can't really unless you're going to use a pair of vice grips or something to hold the top up while you go inside and clean it off then you're gonna um, uh, probably have to take off this entire head and sometimes you're gonna have to take off this head anyway because that's just how the sprinkler is going to be set up so that the filter won't come out unless this head co comes off so what you'll ultimately have to end up doing is dig around uh, the sprinkler head enough so that you can grab the body enough to turn this and, and take it off. If you don't grab the body when you turn this, you might end up actually pulling the sprinkler itself, screwing the sprinkler off the riser like you see, grabbing the head, but the sprinkler is actually coming off the riser. So that's a bad situation. You don't want that to happen. So what you're going to want to do is be able to grab the body enough to unscrew this top. And most sprinklers are going to be like this. They're going to have a top like this, and this one has a rubber gasket, which most of them are going to have and you're going to uh, take off this rubber gasket. Now you can see there's a spring in there. Um, and you're, once, once the head comes off, the spring is just what gives the, uh, the pop-up part of the sp uh, sprinkler its ability to pop up. And uh, you can take out the spring generally. You can pop this guy up, put the spring back down in there. It's a bit tricky sometimes. And you'll be able to, uh, this gets a little bit tricky, you'll just be able to screw this back on. You can screw this, you can take the whole thing out of the body and just screw it on like that. It's generally the same in all sprinklers. You can do that um, and then just pop that right back in, snap the, uh, the body back down and then you're ready to go. Screw the top back up. Whoops. 
You're going to have to make sure you didn't change the orientation of your sprinkler head in the process. If it was pointed a certain direction and you took it out and now it's pointing another direction, then you're going to have a problem. This is a, a 360 degree sprinkler head, so it doesn't matter anyway. But if you're at a 90 and you start uh, messing around with it in there, then you're going to probably change the orientation. So you need to be a little careful. You might need to do this a couple of times to get it back just right where you want it. But it's a very easy, simple way of, um, of taking a clog sprinkler and getting it back into, into proper working order. So uh, if you have a different sprinkler than this Orbit, um, it's going to be a similar type of operation. You're going to have to locate the filter. You're going to have to reassemble it in such a way that it's spraying in the right pattern again. But almost all sprinklers function the same. Sometimes it might be a bit more complex if the sprinkler has the ability to, uh, has a key to where you can adjust the spray pattern. Then you might have, um, you might have to readjust that after you're done. But in general, sprinklers are going to have a filter, they're going to have a spring, uh, they're going to have a body, they're going to have a little rubber gasket. They're almost all going to have those features and you just need to disassemble it in such a way that you can clean the filter, clean whatever's clogged, and then reassemble it in like manner.